Hey, this again. Hey, welcome back. Um, That's going to be an oddly two. quiet opening. <laughs> That's an oddly quiet opening, yes. Just had it on pause. Uh, picking up a Castle 6. Let's do this shit. We're now officially at the part that I remember absolutely nothing about. Well, the interesting thing is now that we have the magic key, we don't have to explore the whole castle for keys. Oh yeah, and because we're at the we're at one level, like we're we're basically the last dungeon away from getting our last power up. We don't even need to fight the enemies. No, we can no. just motor through this. Yeah, that's awesome. That's the goal. Except for when blue knuckles block you, know. and then just fall into a hole. That's sick. Oh yeah, we have all the spells and everything too. Jesus. Yeah, we are doing good. It's like when I walk out the door, I just forget we even do this. Can we do this? At oh, least try to forget. That's what I'm doing this for. <laughs> that helps. They try to forget. There's nothing for me to say. That got dark. Maybe that's why she's trying to forget the memories, because it's got it got dark. Probably. Did you ever think of that? Bet you didn't. No, I usually don't. You know. Think? Right. <laughs> you know, right? It's because you're literate. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> but I suck at writing. I forgot. That's true. That is true. Although I'm going to have to have try my hand at writing very soon here. Wait, do you mean like you suck at like coming up with ideas, but your handwriting actually sucks? Little of column A, little of column B. Yeah. I'm going to have to do it right away here, because... I'm not gonna make my game before I write the script for it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I it. Invisifloor. Invisifloor. Oh, I was trying make... to dodge it. Oh, <laughs> Invisifloor. <laughs> In the face. More or less in the face. More or less. In and around the general facial area. In or around the mouth. <laughs> Mostly around. This is like cozy couch. Holy <laughs> uh, wizards. Yeah, you should probably... We already covered wizards. that wizards suck. And fuck wizards. Except of the coast, because they're pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, that's true. That's a set of wizards I really like. They're okay. Some of them are dicks. Well, Hogwarts itself is okay. Some of the wizards are in Hogwarts. I'm sorry to say, but that ain't coming. There's a snowy owl that got... I saw the that! ...traffic cam and came back, and I'm like, it's Hedwig! She's bringing everybody the letters! That was awesome. Just, just a perfect way. picture, too. Oh, was that the invisible floor part? <laughs> yep. Not gonna lie, I was not paying attention the first time it happened. Oh, Apparently was... neither was I. Oh shit, boss room already? Or mini boss. Mini boss, yeah. Then the mini boss is the same boss from Palace 3. Yes, yes it is. Same trick? Same trick. Come on. Get him over there. Jesus, he did so much damage. But I guess he is just a regular blue knuckle at this point. What is the trick you're trying to do? If you get him on the left side, you can like bounce on his head, and he will walk to a certain point where it will actually allow you to do damage that way. Delay, delay, delay. It's okay, I'll get him this time. At He's least he's still right the there. Yep. I thought we had a Mexican standoff. That's offensive. <laughs> I know the text was your offending. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Better actually care. No, no, no. 
The less things you allow yourself to be attended by, the better your life will be. Well, that worked. Do it, do it. There it is. Got him. That was excellent. I don't need. Woo! Oh, there's a cross. Perfect. Now I can see invisible ghosts. It's the Swiftscope. It is, yeah. So, where are the invisible ghosts? Um, they are in that hidden town I was in, and if you try to go to the final palace, they're all over the place around there. So oh. not having the cross kind of keeps you from even trying. I see, okay. And you'll just take damage. Yeah. Okay. Constantly. For no discernible reason. That makes sense. Ah. I mean, That's even, so tough. Even less of a discernible reason than normal. Yeah. No. There we go. That's how it's done. They expected the kids to remember all this shit back when this game came out. I can barely remember what I had for breakfast some days. By, by using guys, conveniently available for, for $12.99 and entry level game stuff. There was no GameStop back in the day. There were no guides back in the day. Actually, that, that's not true, because you could call Nintendo for it. For yeah. Yes, but it wasn't quite a guide that you could sit down and put in front of you. And I had a retarded amount of Nintendo Power issues. I have very little, actually. Oh, yeah? I used to collect them. And cheat code books. I used to have a lot of those, too. I never yep. had those. PlayStation 1 era and before. The internet really has changed how we play games. So was the downward thrust. Yeah! Downward thrust of victory. And I have no recollection of what the boss is in this. Volvagia. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's the earliest incarnation. Oh, sick. That was always my favorite boss in Ocarina, too. How could it not be? Ocarina had weird bosses. I didn't really like many of them. I'm actually trying to think of what my favorite one would be. So, there's Phantom Ganon, which was... Fuck that ass. Valvegi is pretty cool. Sorry. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Goma, yeah. Goma and Valvegi both kind of sound like STIs. They kind of do. Yeah. King Dodongo, again, just kind of eh. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that one. No. Whatever the fuck that thing was in Great Jabu's Belly, or whatever his name is. I forget what the boss is called now. It's that jellyfish motherfucker, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. See, Fan and Ganon can suck a nut. Volvego was kind of cool. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of that temple. I don't mind the fire temple as a whole. Although I think my favorite boss to fight, even though it's stupidly simple, is uh, Twin Rova. Yeah, I like I like Twin Rova. That one's sick. And that's just my favorite temple. Wow, that was fast. That's a mini boss. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I thought he, we just he, went through that. He pulled off the trick roll for him really well too. It's an extra life. That's actually pretty worth it. You know what? I'm gonna skip it just because the boss is right here and the boss is not a challenge. 
Yeah, may as well then. If you die after this, whatever, then we'll just head to the end with... That's exactly lives. it. And it's not like we're really concerned about the experience. No, once we beat this boss, that's all the experience we need. Yeah. Oh! oh! Fuck! <laughs> Speaking of dying. Speaking of dying, I was right there in the boss room. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's life. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, laugh it up, chumps. <laughs> oh, trust me, I will. I'm allowed to, because I'm not the one playing. Indeed. <laughs> so that's fine, we'll just laugh it up, you know, when you're playing it. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes. What's there really to laugh about in Final Fantasy VIII, apart from train physics? Um, mostly not. And Laguna being an idiot. And Which there's an unfortunate amount of. Yes, there is. Yeah. And that's unfortunate. There is, yeah. You I don't know, to, really. You wanted to fuck that guy way too damn long. Yeah. Cypher being a dick. There's lots more of that. Lots more of that. But anyway, that's not why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that's why we'll be here in like an hour's time. Actually, that'll come out before this. It will. So that'll seem like a really fucked up sense of time you have. No, because FF8 is still ongoing, and... Fuck it, we'll just Doctor Who this. It's some past, future... Timey, windy, mumbly, jumbly... Shit that don't make sense. Yeah. I've never liked Doctor Who. <gasps> I've never seen Doctor Who. I, I've watched a few episodes, I just... I found it completely uninteresting. A way to alienate the three fans you might have. <laughs> hey, we have 30 subscribers, by the way. Is it really now? Is that high now? Yeah, it's that high now. Crazy. <laughs> I think we've peaked. I think so. Yeah. We have like six views per video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we peaked. Probably because of all these butt movers. If you're going to peak, go do it in the bathroom. Hey, it's so much more fun with more people. Oh, yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Nope. <laughs> Alright, let's try for the boss this time. Have the cross, don't need to go that way. Yeah, you can skip most of it, so that's helpful. I skipped most of this castle last time anyway. Now you can skip even more of it. Yeah. <laughs> Just cuz? Just because. That's the wrong What's that? Oh, here. I'm too fucking lazy to get up. See? She's too lazy to answer you. They nodded. Is that a yes? Yeah. Um. Mr. Gregory. I'm playing! Fuck off! Thanks, Greg. I'd always have your support. <laughs> Fuck you, flying dinosaur head. It's a unicorn. Oh, this is an invasion. Where's Dundee? <laughs> Dundee is in danger! <laughs> or Scotland. Ah! I'm not sure which. <coughs> Scotland may also be oh, in danger. Sorry for the call. In which case, fuck him. <laughs> See the boss this episode? Oh yeah. Are we sure? No. <laughs> Nearly there. You're not even at the boss room yet. What is this, Scrub Week? Oh, <laughs> oh, you can take damages, Fairy. Oh, yes, you can. I wasn't sure. Eh, at least it doesn't hurt you too much. Oh, 
Was that where one of the mini bosses was? Nope. I'll have to fight the mini boss again, I think. Oh, you will? Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Oh no. Oh no, wait, maybe. I'm not sure. Nope, you've already interviewed the mini boss. I wasn't sure if the game over would reset that back. Does this it? time, I'm gonna try a little cheat to get that extra <laughs> life. Now, because the next screen, I need to use fairy magic, and I'm essentially dead. Just kill yourself. And uh, killing myself, and I just got the extra life, so it doesn't matter. There we go. Why fairy death. Um, just to recharge my magic and life. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Now I'm going into the next screen. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah. Well, that's why they put the fairy there, right? Yeah. Boom. Okay. He's got to get in the hole. I'm practicing. Practice makes habit, and perfect practice makes perfect. Practice makes permanence. Yeah. There you go. There we go. But you don't actually need to jump spell that handy. No, but it makes it easier to hit him. You just kind of got to guess which hole he's coming out of. Yeah. Omega! Oh, you're doing some damage to him. It's not bad. More than some. Yeah, he's half dead already. That's pretty damn good. Oh, well, three eighths. If I had my full attack meter, he'd be taking the damage per hit. Wow. But he's not super challenging, so. No, it's all just timing. Yeah. You can get a hit in while he's attacking and one on the way down. So yep. it's not too bad. One when as he shows up, one yeah. as he attacks, one on the way down. Nintendo wanted you to go after him and jump in these over these pits, but that means potentially landing in the pits, so... Yeah. That's taking lava damage and then right into the hole. Yep. Nearly there. There we go. You just gotta hit him. Yep. Okay, over here. <laughs> That's awesome. There we go. There we go. Double nice. Hit. That means there's only one palace left. It does. What up? What up, Tiger? Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this episode maybe a little bit early because we're at the 18 minute mark. Um, and instead of trying to get to Palace 7 on 2 minutes time, because I have to restart the game to get a bunch of extra lives anyway, we'll just call it an episode here. Does that make sense? And then meet him at Palace or meet him here maybe and then just... No, because the next... Uh, what I'm going to do on the next episode is I'm going to start from the beginning and pick up all the extra lives in the overworld so players oh. can see where all the extra lives are. That works. I yeah. like that idea. Alright, so okay, let's then. call it here and... We will see you on the next episode. See you on the next two. episode.